be off by the time the music Hey, ends. what's up, everybody? It's another Mix It Up podcast. I'm your host, Joel Hawkins, along with my uh, fantabulous friend. He doesn't mean that. H sounds over here. Also. I do mean you're fantabulous. You are fantabulous. It's Spell a made-up it. word, so it Spell means it. nothing. It's okay. Well, see, there you go. Fant- so you don't mean it. Fabulous. Spell it. Really? If you can't spell it, you can't use the word. F A N T A B U L O U S. I made it up so I can spell any <laughs> way I want to. Oh, you made me cuss. You. I gotta cut it out. You always blame it on me. I didn't do anything. Frustrate me. <laughs> Which makes me cuss. <laughs> so technically, it is your fault. It'd be like I didn't do anything to him. I just set him on fire. <laughs> he died on his own. Basically, <laughs> I didn't stop his heart. <laughs> But uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing uh, an actual podcast show. We don't do them that often. I know, but that's mainly because you guys don't like them. So <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do them again. And today, because we actually did get a request from some of y'all, because we had an idea that we were going to have on another podcast. We had an idea saying like each one of us would come up with five really stupid creative superpowers. And you have to name, you have to name the super powered guy individual or whatever Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it has to be creative and it has to be practical because in some way practical it doesn't have to be perfectly practical and really useful it just has to be somewhat practical you can't be like ah my my power is uh gluing my kneecaps together like that's my skill a knee knocker that's my name (laughs) yeah you get it (laughs) see it's easy to come up with stupid stuff it's so easy but Creatively coming up with something that's <laughs> practical. It's a different story. Did that really get oh, you no. that much? It's, the <laughs> <laughs> it's super stupid. Yes. I'm glad I got you with something. <laughs> yeah, how does he get from one place to the other? He can unglue his knees too. <laughs> I just pictured like the what was it, uh in game. <laughs> Everybody's coming in through the portal. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Avengers assemble. <laughs> like that's how he talks. <laughs> Stupendous. <laughs> yeah. More uh, Jim Carrey than I wanted to be. But <laughs> <laughs> the knee knocker. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a funnier show than usual. Okay, so... (laughs) Now you got me started. We can't have that happen. We can't laugh for 36 minutes. It's going to be bad. Okay, so... It's okay. Each one of us gets to take one and come up with an idea. I'll do the first one. Now, this is by far number five. It's the stupidest one of all the ones I came up with. Wait, are we coming up with five right now? Yeah. Okay. Each one of us. Oh, Dude, okay. it's not hard. Come on. I just came up with one that made you freaking laugh you your balls off. you said it has to be practical. That one's No, it practical. doesn't have to be practical. Just oh, in okay. some way practical. Like this one I'm about to say is not really that practical. And I did mention it before. His superpower is that he can always pull correct change from his pocket. <laughs> now, of course, he'll have to keep like all of his money in his pocket. But you got to think about it. That would be a practical, useful time saver if you're at a, a freaking fair and you're trying to get through it quickly. Yeah. Like, how much is that corn dog? Dollar thirty-eight. Boom! They have those at Sonic. I don't know if you remember those. When we... No, no, no. Yeah, you noticed that it took you a while to chink, chink, chink. When I'm talking about, put hand in pocket, pull money, give money, done. Go leave. Okay. See what I'm saying? Oh. How much is that wasa pretzel? Done. <laughs> like that's that's his superpowers. He can pull correct can change. He calculate tax. He pulls anything that that person wants <laughs> in trade for the item. That's when he gets. Okay. So what's his name? Penny saver. <laughs> uh, it's super stupid. I told you this was the whole point of this one is to be super stupid. Now, do you want me to just go through my five so you have time to think about your no, own? No. You got one? Okay. I got one. Let's see what you got. <laughs> and mine, mine is practical. This guy is useful. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting. Yeah, he's useful. I'm waiting. He can uh, dispense any drink at any time. Yeah. But they're all carbonated drinks. So when he's... I have questions for this oh, power. Oh, oh, hold on. So when he's fighting, right, you ever had like a Coke and you shake it up and then you open it like... 
right? So he's not going to take out the enemy, but he's going to distract everybody around. And just think about like soda, just psh, 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 like fucking fireworks. Where is it coming out of anything? I don't know. I didn't think that part through yet. It's Spider-Man. Spider-Man style. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so like, if he wanted to fill someone's cup, he would have to like put the cup in. <laughs> There you go. There you a go. nice cherry soda for you. Right. And you think about they out there on the battlefield. You ever see them? They look all tired, dehydrated. Water for everybody. I thought you said it had to be carbonated drinks. Uh, what's what's uh, Canadian dry? Ooh. There you go. Canadian dry. Carbonated water. <laughs> Canadian dry? <laughs> no. That is the opposite. It, it like dehydrates you severely. You might want to say, uh, what was the one we like? Oh, oh, uh, uh. Hearts. Ah, I know, I, I know. See, it's white mountain, blackberry, wild cherry. Oh. I forgot it too. We just I can see the whole can. I, I can can't see the, the, the bottle. It's the weird bottle. I can't remember it either, and I just bought some last week. Oh, geez. Now your memory and lack of is it's because you on said me. Canada Dry. That's what screwed it for <laughs> us. Because now all we're thinking about is that green can with the red text. <laughs> Drink ten of them and dehydrate you. You mom. think about Sandman? You know when he turns into sand, mud. Who's fucked? All right. So my guy Spencer no, is he gonna can still get away. Man. You never saw that. But it's a lot harder. Okay. He ain't just like making tornadoes. He's and just shit. droopy. Yeah. yeah. He's not flying through the air. Yeah. Which, by the way, I loved how in that movie he's like, <laughs> a dusty cloud goes through the air. I'm like, he doesn't control air currents. He's just <laughs> sand. <laughs> So, fairly sure he's like, why am I going this way? And then the air splits him in two and he's like, no. Like, he's just very upset. <laughs> well, actually, in the comics and everything else, I guess he does have wind controlling power because he somehow is able to turn to a big monster. Sorry. It's not like your sand's like, one piece of sand, connect to the other one. That's not It's kinetic more. sand. That's what it is. It's kinetic sand. Kinetic sand, man. Yeah. Well, then he'd be muck. But, uh, okay. So, that's what's the. The name of this Spencer. Super. Oh, that's so bad. Come on, he's a dispenser. Spencer. Yep, that's his name. Susp- you made it better by putting a sus in front of that. <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> I'm Spencer. I make sodas. There you go. Suspenser. There you go. Well, that's better. Yeah. That's and actually practical. No, it's it's they're not, always thirsty. It's, it's not bad. <laughs> and the amount of heartburn he could give a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> if he just did carbonated soda and shoved it in their nostrils. What I happened on the battlefield? We all went down. Heartburn. Uh, I got shot, so I had to spray cherry soda in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. See? See? <laughs> oh, that's super weird. <laughs> Wow. Yep. I'm actually proud of you. <laughs> I was expecting you were going to say something pretty dumb and boring, but that was really, no, I didn't, I didn't mean like, you meant it. It's okay. No, it's because like you literally <laughs> said like, crying, oh, I haven't crying. thought about this. I don't know what I'm going to come <laughs> up with. I was like, oh, please don't be shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So for my, <laughs> mine, <sighs> I, I originally had an idea for it and then it went because you can tweak the idea and it could be something not it could be it could become something untoward okay okay so my idea was this guy had the ability okay you know how you like flip a card and you try to aim it and it gets into like the what is it called and it gets into like a hat or something you're trying yeah, to yeah. like magic trick yes yeah. so you have the skill of like catching a bullseye throwing cards right and then i thought okay well there's bullseye he's a comic character and then there's gambit who does that too but his cards explode (laughs) so i thought okay well what use could this guy have (laughs) then i watched men in black three and i went well that was the idea i had and it was no not men in black three men in black two where the alien they find him in the sorter Mm. And he's throwing the mail into the slots. Yeah. That was the idea I had. And I went, well, that's freaking pointless. So then I was like, what else could he do? Like be really good at. Then I figured out he teaches kids how to skip stones. Tell me that's not the most stupid superpower in the world. Hey, but you think about it. You know what? 
They have competitions. Skip it. Oh, they do? They do. They really do? They do. I saw it like, like 10, national 15 years or? ago. I, I, I don't know how far, but I saw something. Then I turned it off because I was like, this is stupid. Competition. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty stupid. stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point of this so, is to come up with something stupid. So, but he, still practical. He's not bad because if he goes to the right place, champions, baby. And he works as a camp counselor during the <laughs> off season so he can teach kids how to skip stones. That's how he makes his living. And all of the kids are champs. He's called Skip Tricks. <laughs> skip Tricks? Skip Trace. Skip Trace? No, that's not going to work because that's a bounty hunter thing. Let's call him no, Skippy. No, no. He, can, he can skip stones out of criminal's forehead. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, everybody. Clear back. I got this. <laughs> I had to do the sound effect for you, bud. <laughs> Uh, I mean, technically, if he can flit like that, then he could like throw boomerangs or all kinds so of shit. So he's best friends with Aquaman. No, this, Aquaman would hate him. No, they have It'd to be like knocking he has to on be his on door. The water. He got to be on the water. So he's like, no, it's the, not uh, just water. He can just he's flit. The, no, he's a scout in the lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> he's his dad because that's what that was in the movie. Yep. There you go. That's, that's dad. super. Bra- hey, dad. You know your superpower is kind of weird compared to mine being the king of the ocean. I can talk to fish and control water, but you can skip stones like a champion. <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to stop the ships before they get there. Aquaman's downstairs. I just call him Skipper because I like Gilligan's Island, hey, so that'll work. Skipper. Skipper. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a stupid power. I'm so glad I came up with it. The, the male thing would have been better. Do the rocks explode? The male, or is it just a, no? It's just pebbles. No, that would that would just be gambit at that point. That would be gambit. It. No, but he can only skip them over water, so he can't do shit. No, on I didn't land. say that. You said that. <laughs> so, so he can skip them on land. I said he can flit anything. Period. That's kind of talented if he can skip a rock on land. He can skip anything on anything. That's oh, anything. the point. So washer than dryers too. That's why I said if <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it has to be a certain weight because it's not like his arm's gonna be like, oh, this washer dryer so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny if he could though. It'd be like, we can do skip a stone. Is that a car? <laughs> that would be pretty dope. <laughs> what is that sound? Yeah, yeah, just not paying attention. He's coming at you without you even seeing. You're like, <laughs> turn back. Is that a vest buckle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, skipper, skipper, skip trace. I, I thought that sounded doper, but you can't have a cool name on a goofy, <laughs> stupid power. Ah. Uh, so dumb. Okay, your turn, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm gonna go with the uh, guy that uh, I don't know if he can actually beat up anybody with this, <laughs> but he's gonna grow. He's gonna be like, I guess he's a descendant of Groot, but he's gonna grow hair out of his ear, but in Groot style, so he can use it as a protective shield. Dagnabbit, you kind of took one of mine. Well, not really, but I'll, I'll explain. <laughs> and then, and then he, he does the hair out the ear because, you know, when they have like the sirens and all of them and, you know, everybody like, ah, or like they did with Hulk. Wait, right? can he fly? You got to give him some more useful practical <sighs> power. Because what are you going to do with ear hair? Just, just protect you. himself from sound? No, he's Hulk's best friend. So when they bring out the supersonic blasters and Hulk's like, ah, I can't hear. He walks up like, I got you, dog. It's, it'll mess up his ears. But his dick But how would that help hair. Hulk? <laughs> is, like, is he going to be like, aim Hulk? <laughs> there Throw you stuff go. there. Go left. Throw <laughs> stuff there. Protect yourself. Shield there you your go. face. There you go. See? I'm pretty sure that protecting his ears wouldn't stop supersonic waves from crushing that man's heart. And if you grow enough hair, he can build a vest. It doesn't hurt Hulk because his ears. It hurts Hulk because the vibrations... Are vibrating his cells apart. That's the point of supersonic. It didn't, it didn't look like that. In the movie. <laughs> you didn't see his skin ripple as the sound waves hit him. That's true too. <laughs> I missed that part. I didn't have my glasses okay. on during that part. So really, ear hair guy. What's his name? Ah oh, shit. Uh, 
Come on, man. You got this. I got uh, one for him. I don't want to call him Harry. That's just... Call him Earwig. Earwig. That's an actual thing, but that's what you're talking about. Ear and hair. Earwig. Okay. Earwig. That's actually a very creative <laughs> name for what you came up with. <laughs> Uh, I think earwig's an insect <laughs> <laughs> that burrows into your ear. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah. Okay. See, now so, I want that superpower so I don't get any earwigs in my ear. Okay, yeah. so uh <laughs> so you kinda took a part of one of mine, but I'm not gonna say that one till number two, three. I was gonna say it now. I'm just making be, this up. I think I know, it's gonna be, be my best one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say it next. The one I'm gonna. <laughs> Damn it! You made me forget the one I was gonna say now. Ah, uh, it's not the one that I'm think. I'll just say that one now. Okay, so uh, his superpower <laughs> is that he can control every hair on his body, and he grows it immensely. Like if he wanted a costume on Halloween as Chewbacca, instant. Okay, here's why. He's a guide in the tundra and on Everest because he can so basically he warm. create a double fur for himself if he wants to. He can literally be dancing or sleep for months in that place without any cover, but he can grow his hair so long he can actually cover anybody else in a nice thick blanket of fur. Yeah, he's like a medic, like a Sherpa medic dog. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a barrel around his neck. Calls himself Bro Proof. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the idea. A lot of people would be like, oh, well, you could have done the inhuman route and he can grow his hair and his hair can slap people and cut them. I'm like, no, exactly. we're not doing that. Braids. It's supposed to be practical. Can he braid his hair? <laughs> he, he can't grow braids. Well, we keep I guess he hair, can control he his hair. He it and whoosh. No, he can control his hair. So it's like, he okay, he could make braids and then be like, Bull whips. He so he can fight. All right. We got a fighter. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. Oh, that is so. Was so he weird. friends with Earwig? They kind of. They, they have to be friends now. <laughs> like, and the insane. way they shake hands is with their hair. <laughs> yours, would be, yours would be gross. So maybe he shakes his hands with his ear hair too and just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're coming up with this crap. So who knows? Uh, and his name was uh, Sheep Guard, by the way. But <laughs> sheep yeah, because kind of like a sheep dog guard dog. Blah blah blah. I was gonna call him Sasquatch, but then I was like, no, that exists. In, yeah, they already got one and stuff. So. I forgot the other one I had already. Just make them up. What am I on? Number that just, was number that three. Was three. That was number three. Oh, what was the other one? And that was my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. I gotta right. figure out which one I made. My up. guy's name is better than a superpower. His name is Sleevy. <laughs> <laughs> That's already stupid. <laughs> he sounds like a cartoon character on Blue's Clues. <laughs> Go so, ahead. Go ahead. His superpower can only be activated if he has a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> He's so screwed if someone cuts his sleeve off. <laughs> You're powerless. But you think about so his his whole power, right? He can grow sleeves, right? That's why he's sleevy. Not arms, just sleeves. <laughs> But you think about it like a peacock, right? A man, and then he grows all the feathers out, and they're like, oh man, it's memorizing. What's that? Right? And then he takes the sleeves and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Actually, I'm... That's so horrible. Yeah, sleevey. That's one of the worst. <laughs> that's, that's the worst one you have. I don't think you're going to come up with a worse one. That's I think that's one. the worst. I like it. We got sleevey. It's so we bad. We got Spencer. It's so <laughs> it, bad, it, though. <laughs> Because Sleevey could easily be taken down. Not if he's wearing a long sleeve shirt, because then he got most sleeves, baby. Again. <laughs> Again. 
What? Easily. What? What a jacket. What is this? What is this kryptonite? <laughs> a, a what is jacket. this kryptonite? Short it's sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> what is this kryptonite? Tank tops. <laughs> what is this kryptonite? Someone ripping his clothes off. You ain't got no shirt sleeve. What you gonna do, <laughs> bitch? You ain't got shit. Yeah. Right. Is the whole woman his you see my tonight is so easily accessible. <laughs> <laughs> you could walk up and be like, "No, sleepy, you ain't got <laughs> shit." <laughs> you can still fight. He's you better a, have long range a, he's powers. A, he's a super soldier. He's got to go. have long. He's super soldier too. <laughs> yep. Yep. So he's like a Chris Chris Evans type. Yeah. yeah. So he can fight. <laughs> The sleeves are just to mesmerize you like the peacock, and then he just whoops your ass. Just mesmerize my sleeves. I want to see this mesmerization. If you saw a thousand sleeves going up, and you'd be like, what the hell is it? Yeah, you would. I would walk away. (laughs) I'd be like, shit's weird. (laughs) I'm not mesmerized, but you're goofy shit. (laughs) Unless they had some like enchanted ability. Look at my sleeves. Do you like them? Now he sounds like a a villain. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't control fabric, just sleeves. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, that's a pretty stupid superpower. You may have won this already. You may have won this. I gotta think of something else. That's really freaking dumb. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really proud that you're the one that came up with it. I thought I was gonna you're win. Happy it, but that I'm the dumbest one at this. No, 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 no. I mean, you came up with the dumb one. It takes a creative mind to come up with something that fucking stupid, <laughs> sleevy. Sweet God, that is horrendous. I love it so much. Somebody's drawing sleevy right now. I want to see a cartoon with sleevy. <laughs> I almost want to quit because I can't think of the other one that I had in the back of my head ready to go. I'm very upset that I forgot it. And I'm going to remember it after we're done recording and I'm like an idiot and I have to say it on the podcast. <laughs> well, my number one was this one, but I forgot him. Sleepy one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so the one I had that was my... <sighs> Already said sheep guard, right? Did the one about pulling correct change? <laughs> that was the first one. That was very stupid, super stupid superpower. I know. <laughs> well, you did three. What was your other one? Skip one. Uh, the uh, skip, yeah. skip trace skipper. or skipper. Damn it! What was the? There was one I already had, and then I was just gonna come up with some bullshit for number one. <laughs> but Oh, this is going to bother me so much because that one was really good. Like, it was more practical. Just think of it right now. Go. It never works. That's what I've been doing. (laughs) Don't worry. We can cut it so I automatically remember. Oh, I remember. Oh, man. I had one that was about farts, but... No, like, he could literally recreate any type of smell a fart could have. So funky and so this guy funky. could literally like like make his farts like too much sulfur or too much like silent but deadly put someone to sleep like so stuff he's like a chemist. that chemist yeah in his butt <laughs> in his colon the butt chemist the butt chemist yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually a better name than what I had come up with it gaseous was the idea. <laughs> Actually, his original name, which I don't know why I had this in my head, because he looked in my mind like he looked like Ali. So I was like, Gaseous Clay. (laughs) (laughs) And I was like, Gaseous Clay or something like that. And I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. And I was like, nah, that's going to seem weird. (laughs) But Gaseous was just he could chemically alter his butt farts to be anything. Was that the one, though? No, that was just some random thought I had yesterday. Okay, we'll go with gaseous. So gaseous is basically like he can chemically alter in his butt. So like he's used a lot when it comes to government application. Okay, so toxic gases too. Or we could do anything, anything the butt can possibly make, he can make. So, so he, does he, he have can to alter b- elemental capabilities of sulfur, uh, dioxin, whatever? So is he bulletproof? Because I I think he has to go behind enemy lines to be. Yeah, he's a spy. Okay. I mean, think about it. If you're like, 
oh no, they've, they're going to set a bomb off somewhere in Central Park. Well, then he's going to flood the park with noxious chemicals that makes everybody leave the park. So you don't have people die when the bomb explodes. And let's say he makes that chemical that smells like shit. <laughs> Maybe he puts into that thing uh, something that could flood the compartment of the bomb and disarm it. Like having a chemical imbalance so it shuts the bomb down or makes it pointless. So if it, if it explodes, it... Because <laughs> oxygen is a huge part of a bomb. The de- deoxygenizer? Yeah, he floods it so there's no oxygen capability. A bomb's not going to explode. It's just going to... That'll be the end of it. So it's just a fart. <laughs> well, it's more like a gaseous <laughs> cloud that he can create and be putting out the whole time. Okay, gaseous. We're going to go in. So we're going to put on our mask. Do we need our mask? We need our mask. Okay. Yeah, not so a problem. how does he obtain his power? Does he eat beans all day? No. He can literally just change the chemical imbalance in his oh, gut. It just keeps going. Yeah, he can go indefinitely. Just fart all day. <laughs> you fart all month, man. It's just when he gets sleepy, that's the only problem. Which, by the way, when he was younger, he couldn't control his power. So when he'd go to sleep, his parents had to actually hermetically seal him in his room because it was pretty deadly. He's he's also immune to everything he can create in his body. Meaning that he can't die from poisons or chemicals or anything else. No one can kill him in that manner. So he's actually really even more useful because let's say there's a chemical attack, that dude could be walking around and be like, Gaseous <laughs> man. Yeah. So that's Gaseous Clay. Yes. <laughs> I can't call him that. It's so horrible. But yeah, Gaseous and uh, that was the one I had a random thought of yesterday. The one I chose, and I'm just so upset I can't remember it right now. It was so stupid and so useful and stupid. It was both useful and stupid. And I was fucking happy with it. And now I can't remember. Go ahead. Your turn. I mean, we're at the last one now. No, the last two. But you have one more. I have two. I'm going to go with, uh, call them light show. And, uh. I remember it now. <gasps> oh, son of a bitch. You had to say that. Did I take it? No. Well, depending on what you say next. Uh, and super late is that his finger damn it we went on the same thing again hey but that's the first but not that it's 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 definitely different it's way dumber <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's my number one. Oh, <laughs> i'm making it up as it go i don't know who is gonna be the dumbest so he just shines things. lights through his fingers yeah but it's like super like high beam led like ah! So he can actually like blind someone or yeah. something like that. Okay. Yeah. He can well, that's sure more that. useful and practical. And he wears glasses like, you know, medical grade because he could do it to himself. So that wouldn't be helpful. <laughs> Picking his nose. Yeah. Just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> My cornea. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also good at getting a team together because they're like, hey, where are we going to meet? But <laughs> only if he's at the location. <laughs> it's like a bad signal. All right. Only if he's at the location. I mean, already. he can even direct but like air traffic like, control as well. Hey like, guys, hey. I'm gonna be at the location. You'll find the light. I'll just wait till when you get here. Yeah. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless your 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 follically challenged friend can actually fly there, that'd be cool. Dude, I'm so mad you said light show. The minute you said it, it made me remember Glowworm, and then I was just <laughs> upset. I can't say it now because it's pointless. You've already said it. Come on. Okay, glow this one's glow not a, this one's not a part of the list. Okay, I'm just gonna say what it was. My number one stupidest superpower was glowworm. <laughs> He's a human nightlight. <laughs> <laughs> so his only practical use is that in case someone wants to walk around in the dark, he can walk with them and they'd be lit up. Oh, was he at the orphanage with uh, Batman? No, he's not with the kids. He's not with the Dark Knight. (laughs) (laughs) No, Glowworms, uh, actually, his, his, specifically his power comes from the fact that he's actually highly irradiated. (laughs) (laughs) So the glowing effect is just an after effect of the toxicity that exists within him. (laughs) So can he turn off? Just always on. Always on. 
That's why he's called Glowworm because it doesn't go off ever. So it's he just gives, part of he him. He gives away the team's location all the time. <laughs> so he's not useful at all. So he's only <laughs> practically useful for like, hey, Glowworm. I need to go down to the basement and the lights are broken. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what Glowworm's <laughs> useful for. Or a kid going, Glowworm, I need to go get some water. Like that's that's what Glowworm's for. Is it he walk or did he like just slither? No, he's just a normal human being who's oh, highly okay. radiated and some kid called him a fucking Glowworm and it stuck and he's so upset about it. He hates his life, his job, everything. He loathes it. I mean, a rich man pays him to walk around his house so he doesn't have to spend any money on electricity in the middle of the night. But Glowworms, yeah, he's just somebody's nightlight. That's all. Oh. <laughs> he's a highly irradiated nightlight. <laughs> Oh, because he doesn't die from radiation, he can obviously go into the radiated areas for people. There's another practical use. Oh, and light the way through the radiation? Well, no. Everyone else would die walking through so that then place. What, what, what would he be useful in going to the radiation? Hey, Glowworm, do us a favor. Can you check and see how deadly it is in that room? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys don't want to come in here. It's like uh, 72,000 rads. Oh, thanks, Glowworm. We all would have died. <laughs> How's that elephant's looking in Chernobyl? Looks like a foot. <laughs> Let's try and pack it up and remove it and put it in lead boxes. We'll teach you how. Okay. I'm Glowworm. Ah. Yeah. He'd actually be very useful in that aspect because he'd be able to stop any type of radiation infiltration. Like, I mean, they could give him the machines as long as he was there to operate them. He'd be able to do something because he can't die by radiation. In fact, it just makes him glow harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's your turn. You're doing the last one. Just makes him glow harder. Yeah, this would be useful. We're gonna call this one saltine. <laughs> um, I already think that's the <laughs> dumbest name, but oh, uh, but I mean, he could be practical because you know, if if he's in a a domestic situation, he can add salt to the food, make the food no, taste that's better. His, that's his freaking. He's salt bay. That's yeah. his pa- his power. Yeah, but it's just a pinch, wait, wait. It's just a pinch at a time. Is it perfect salting capability? Yeah, it's, it's or just, just he can salt things. In salt, but only a pinch at a time. I know, but does yeah. he have the ability of knowing what the perfect amount of salt is for whatever object he's yeah. salting? Yeah, and it could be like regular salt. It could be but like he can only do a pinch at a time. Only that a would... pinch at a time. We need you to help the salinity of the ocean. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna be here seven months. <laughs> well, no, they use so he's he's with the uh, military. They use him in interrogation. They just like and yep. just like soft just parts all, of him and all in people's eyes just talk, <laughs> talk. He, he's salt bay's enemies yeah. <laughs> talk bitch talk you you'll whore. never get a word out of me <laughs> <laughs> what's his name it's salt. not salty saltine 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 I don't like saltine okay well no what's, what's a good name <laughs> saltifer <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> I was gonna say, no, never mind. Okay, you, have you seen uh, the, w- the Witcher? I haven't. Uh, there's Geralt, which I was thinking Gersalt. <laughs> Gersalt, come out. And white hair works perfectly for Salt Man. There you go, Gersalt. Or we could go Mega Man with it and just be like Salt Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mega Man. Oh, oh yeah, not, yeah, I couldn't I know. figure that out. Sorry, you literally said it, then you said it. <laughs> yeah, that's in my head now. That's gonna. I played that game way too much as a kid. <laughs> I'm fighting the penguin, Mega Man X. Oh. But uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's not bad. I, you were supposed to come up with something super stupid for number one. I- I literally just thought of these as they the happen. The best one you've done so far is <laughs> fucking Sleevey. I'm sorry, but I thought Sleevey because you had Sleevey. Sorry, that's literally where it came from. Well, that's your most genius inspired. <laughs> Dude, that was a work of art. <laughs> Mesmerizes you like Pika. There you go. You're looking at it and you're just like, ooh, I'm mesmerized. <laughs> that's literally what he said. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm so happy. <laughs> Sleevy, come give me a hug. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that one's the best one out of all of them. I don't know. Spencer was kind of cool. Yeah. Sleevy. Sleevy. All the way. Sleevy <laughs> wins. Hands down is the dumbest superhero and the dumbest power. Oh my God. And it's barely practical. Uh, the just person he could help the most would be Vin Diesel by giving him sleeves to put on his shirt. <laughs> yeah, see, he could do that, right? Winter time, boom, sleeves, baby. I am Groot. <laughs> okay, it's enough of this nonsense. Thanks, everybody, for watching. You guys have a wonderful weekend. We're going to be coming back next <laughs> with, week with more dumb more shit. Stuff. Yeah, probably not. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this goofy shit. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, you guys tell us in the comments, like, if you want to see something different, like top five picks of what else? Top five picks of worst 1980s actor. I don't know. Whatever you want. And tell us who had the best. I mean, Joel says I Sleevy. say it's Sleevy, yours. I think Sleevy won. You guys think. Glowworm's pretty bad, but he's pretty useful when it comes to radiation. But Sleevy, yeah. just the most useless. Well, but he's a super soldier, man. He can still fight. No, no, I'm sorry. But anybody would start <laughs> laughing their ass off if a super soldier had sleeve powers. <laughs> He'd be like, <sighs> Captain Sleepy? <laughs> you look stupid. <laughs> I think Is your I like outfit it. made of sleep? I think I like that name better. Captain Sleepy. Well, it just makes him sound more popular, but yeah. Sleevy makes him sound Captain like, Sleevy. Hi, my name is Sleevy, and I am Sleevy. <laughs> so if he was like a super soldier, but talk like that, oh my God. <laughs> Hello, criminal. <laughs> I'm a super soldier called Sleevy. Be mesmerized by my sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be in my head forever. I'm never going to forget it. Hey, what's up? Everybody, better health, better wealth, my friends. Please have a great day and uh, give a high five and hug to somebody. Better health, yeah. better wealth. Put on some sleeves. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> Sleepy says bye bye. Our August drop just happened. Change hate into love. That's the design. We're putting on a multitude of different products. Please check it out. Please purchase it. Everything you purchase will support the channel. So we love you guys. And as always, better health, better wealth.